and I've messed up lately with this particular enclosure. The, the problem is with the groove, it's not deep enough. I thought that the half of the width of the TPU or the filament, whatever, uh, is going to be good enough, but apparently not. So this is how it looks like. When I try to insert this, it's not, it's not staying in place. So I will not be able to close uh, to close this enclosure, which is a pain, particularly big pain. So I've put this together. It's a test rig <laughs> that uh, has different angles and different depths. And I'm going to show you, for example, this one, number uh, number two. It's uh, as you can tell, it's not staying in there, so the angles are not right and the depth is not right. And I want something consistent because I want to design like big enclosures for thin rails, so everything is enclosed as much as I can. And I think number four is the perfect, perfect uh, match made in heaven, <laughs> she says. And uh, you need to obviously stretch it properly in and jam this in. Here we go. And here it is. So it'll stay there for quite a bit of time and hopefully not even flinch. And when, once applied to the enclosure, this will give me enough time to close the lid and bolt it down. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is uh, what I had to do because this was a major fluke. Uh, just showing you how I try to solve some problems and sometimes there might be, you know, extra labor involved and time consumed. But from now on, I will be using the 2.85 millimeter TPU. It's 93A sure hardness. So 95 is the most common one you can probably buy. And yeah, now I know exactly which uh, depth and width an angle of the curve I need to use for a successful uh, sealability, if that's a word, of the enclosure. So yeah, that's it and uh, thanks for watching.